Variants of SARS coronavirus 2 are emerging at a significant rate worldwide. ECDC is constantly analyzing the characteristics of these variants to rapidly inform public health authorities in the European Union. Some variants can put our efforts to control the pandemic at risk and require immediate actions. Based on available scientific evidence, the Delta variant is more transmissible than other circulating variants, and we estimate that by the end of August, it will represent 90% of all SARS-CoV-2 viruses circulating in the European Union. Unfortunately, preliminary data shows that it can infect also individuals that have received only one dose of the currently available vaccines. It is very likely that the Delta variant will circulate extensively during the summer particularly among younger individuals that are not yet targeted for vaccination. This could cause a risk for the more vulnerable individuals to be infected and experience severe illness and death if they are not fully vaccinated. Because that's the good news that having received two doses of any of the currently available vaccines provides high protection against this variant and its consequences. However, about 30% of individuals older than 80 years and about 40% of individuals older than 60 years have not yet received a full vaccination course in the European Union. There are still too many individuals at risk of severe COVID-19 infection whom we need to protect as soon as possible. Until most of the vulnerable individuals are protected, we need to keep the circulation of the Delta virus low by strictly adhering to public health measures which work for controlling the impact of other variants. It is very important to progress with the vaccine rollout at a very high pace. At this stage, it becomes crucial that the second vaccination dose is administered within the minimum authorized interval from the first dose to speed up the rate at which vulnerable individuals become protected. I am aware that this requires a significant effort from public health authorities and the society at large to achieve this goal. But now is the time to walk the extra mile. We have several safe and effective vaccines available and every single infection prevented now through our compliance with public health measures is a life that can be saved by vaccination.